Hi, this is Jarv from Bike Wagon, and one of the most difficult questions to answer that we get from at Bike Wagon is, what spoke length do I need for my wheel? And so I'm going to try to run through today some of the measurements and some of the designs of spokes, and see if we can't answer that question for you and help you out. So there are a few different types of spokes. The, this is uh, what they call a J-bend spoke. It has a little bend right there. Stands for Jarve. So just kidding. Um, and then there's a straight bend or straight spoke, which is like that one, no bend on it. There's also carbon spokes, which fit specific wheels and stuff like that that are very unique. Um, there's <clears throat> when you're trying to determine a spoke length, there are multiple of measurements um, that you'll need to know. And there's a lot of different types of spoke calculators. We're going to have a link here. Um, that will send you to a spoke calculator to help you figure out um, what spokes you need. The first measurement you're going to need is what they call the ERD of a rim, the effective rim diameter. Uh, this little handy tool right here is what they call a spoke calculating tool to measure the ERD. You, if you don't have one of these, you can make one of these things out of some dowel and put a little bit of duct tape on the end of them and and use them that way. But the way that they work is you'll take them and you'll slide one in this side right here and then you're going to go directly across from it. You're going to slide the other one in like that and you're going to hold them together until they come together like that nice and tight. And you're going to take this little clip and you're going to mark it on one side like that. Then you can pull this side out put it back together here. See if I can do this and hold it up at the same time. So once you do that, then you're going to mark the other side so that you can take off this side like that. Then once you have those, you're going to connect them back together again like that and clip them together. So now you have your overall rim diameter. And then you're going to take your little tape measure and you're going to measure in between these little silver pieces like that. So you'll measure there and this particular one came out to be, I believe it was, uh, 592 millimeters. So now that you have that 592 millimeters, you're going to plug that in. This is a little drawing of the spoke calculator, but you're going to put in the ERD. Then they're going to ask for your hub flange diameter and the width or the distance between your flange and the outer lock nut. So this particular hub has two different size flanges. So there's the left and the right side. So you're going to measure here from spoke hole to spoke hole, the flange diameter. And then you're going to enter that into the computer. So on this particular one, um, it was 62 millimeters. And then from the flange to this outer lock nut, which was 28 millimeters. Then you're going to measure this side, which was 52. And then this one, I believe, was 15. So you're going to put <clears throat> all those numbers into your system. And then you have to choose whether or not you want a radial lace. Do you want a three cross? Do you want a two cross? There's multiple different configurations. You put those numbers in there, punch it in, and then it will tell you what length of spoke you need for each side, left side and right side, or drive side and non-drive side. So this is two particular rims that are both 29ers, but you can see that they are different in height. So the effective rim diameter comes out different. This one here is a 608. This one's a 592. So those numbers will change the length of the spokes based on that. Um, so those are the basic measurements that you're going to need to get to determine what your spoke length is. Um, this particular wheel here, this will give you, so this is a radial laced, so there's no crossing of the spokes. This side here has a crossing of the spokes. And the three cross, the two cross is all based on how many times the spokes cross each other. So in this particular hub, this is a two cross wheel, which is common on road bikes. Radial is common on road bikes. When you get into 
disc or mountain bikes, you pretty much want to run at least a three cross on everything. It's just better, stronger, in my opinion. So, and uh, if if you don't know what length spokes that you do have, there are little spoke rulers such as this, and you would just take that little hook on the J and pop it in there and push it down, and it will tell you that this particular spoke, if my old eyes, is about 262 millimeters long. So, and that's a spoke ruler. You can order and buy one of those as well. Pretty handy tool. And that is Ask Jar for today. So if you have any other questions on this, just leave comments below, or you can email us at bikewagon.com, or go to Facebook and put in hashtag AskJarv.